If you start a WordPress blog and create a logo that's a little too big for your header, you might have items not aligning properly in your WordPress header, like your logo conflicting with your social icons or an advertisement or a button. Well, in this tutorial, you're in luck. We're gonna learn how to size down the space that your logo takes up so that it floats perfectly next to other items in your header. This tutorial is a small segment from our latest how to start a blog guide, which I'll leave you in the description below. Make sure to check that out. Also make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with all the community's latest WordPress tips. We'd love to have you and hit thumbs up or thumbs down on the video to read it so I know you were here. With that said, let's learn how to position the header and line things up perfectly in your WordPress blog. Let's do it. Great, so to make your logo up here and your social media icons over here, along with your search bar, float on the same level line right here, there's two options. You could set up a logo like we did in the Simple Catch demo right here. Well, we didn't make this, Simple Catch did, where the logo is just a circle, kind of like Apple's logo or Netflix. But in our case, we made a wider logo, which includes all of this. So we want it to float next to our social icons. How do we do that? Well, we can go back to our customized window right here, and we're gonna keep the site open in a different tab where things are not lined up, and we're gonna right click on the space beneath the logo. That's the space we wanna change. And we have to kind of maneuver our mouse down until we find like what's actually going on. So we can open up the header content here on the lower left. We can see that there's the branding, huh? And that branding is really wide. That blue space with the tangerine colored line beneath it in the top of our screen here shows the space that site branding takes up. You can see I've highlighted site branding. And when I go on top of the div, it shows the entire space for site branding. So on the right, the width of that is 100%. It doesn't need to be that wide. The masthead site branding does not need to be that wide because it's pushing, as you can see if you look towards that Facebook icon, it's pushing the Facebook icon and a little of the Twitter icon down, and that makes all the icons go down. So let's copy this CSS, the hashtag masthead.site-branding, and let's come back to our custom CSS window and paste that in. And now let's just take away some of that max width. So it had 100, why don't we try giving it like 50%? And beautiful, now they can share the space, just like siblings would share a bedroom down the middle or maybe one side wants more like 60% that's okay too 70% that's okay too 80% that's too much and the logo and the social icons won't be happy with 80% so let's go with something like 65% fair balance write the semicolon now our logo can be big and our social icons can be next to the logo and we did it great job